have a weird situation, sir. You have a weird personality, a weird face, weird teeth. Weird sir, I'm, I'm trying to get a car deal. Okay, now the fuck we talking? What you got? Okay, so they're coming in to trade in one car, but they want to leave with two. Okay, they like... It's a husband and wife, sir. Shouldn't be a problem. We could probably get it done. What, what's the what's the crazy problem? They have uh, basically two vehicles already, but they only, they want a third vehicle. But they probably don't budget for both, I'm assuming? More, more than likely not. All right, here's what we're basically going to do. Um, have them test drive some vehicles. Let's not go super, super crazy. We want to keep them both around the same price point. Okay. I don't even know, okay, I need you to write this the fuck down and do it exactly like I say. Yes. Now, what's going to be critical is these vehicles are roughly around the same. We're going to have to submit these vehicles both to, you know, two separate banks. Get the approvals on both of these separate vehicles. How's the credit look? They have a one. They, the husband's like a 650 and the wife's like, a, I don't want to say a 720, I want to say. Um, but the, the information in the system should be able to pull. Yeah. Okay. Um, wife's actually a 730. Husband's like a 630, which is normal. Typically, the women have better credit. So, I think we can make some shake with this. So, so how, how are we going to get this done? Because I thought it's like typically one car. One... We're going to trick the banks effectively, bro. We're going to have them. One bank think they're getting one car. The other bank think they're getting another car. Submit them both and try to get them fun at the same time. And boom. Bob's your uncle. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll go out there and have them test drive, sir. Yeah, you fucking do that shit. Let me work on this. Get him on the, um, we got a Honda Accord. And, um, does he have any purpose of what he wants? He said he just needs something, um, something decent. Um, like, a, you know, a little bit of space because he's a bigger guy and the space for the kids. I'm not talking like full blown, like fucking Tahoe with no shark decks. That's out. I mean, he said he'd be cool with like the escape, um, honestly. Uh, I got a Rogue that would be better, actually. Here, put him on the Rogue and the Honda and, uh, have him test drive and then send him in and talk to me. Yes, sir. 15 minutes later. Hey, now I can just come in here and have a seat, ma'am. Um, this is Derek. He's going to be working the back end of your deal for you guys. Derek, do you anything for me? I did great, rookie. Um, how are y'all folks doing? Uh, hopefully y'all uh, like the vehicles and everything. Yeah, the vehicles were okay. Uh, we were hoping to have a bit more of a selection and everything. No, nah, I definitely understand, Mr. Mr. Rutherford. Yeah. Mr. Rutherford, you mind if I call you Bob? Yeah, all my buddies call me Bob, man. Yeah, definitely. But, uh, we're, we, you know, the, the, the Sportage is okay. Looking for possibly something a little bit bigger. Uh, I think my wife will be fine with the um, with the Honda. You know, you like that, honey, right? You know, I love Hondas. She loves Hondas. So um, let's go ahead and, uh, you know, see what we can do, man. Um, about maybe get me into a different vehicle. I can do that. We're going to have to kind of make this kind of tight simply because you want to keep that third vehicle we do so we're going to be limited in regards to what we can actually do because we're basically going to, have to trick the banks to where you know they're going to think that one car deal is going down when two separate deals are actually going to be happening with two separate banks so at the same time boom get all funded get a rock and roll down okay okay um but so there's no you know i, I did see uh y'all had a yukon did not no you you wouldn't budget be able to do that one um, unless we had a serious down payment or something like that um that card to be perfectly honest if you're trading is going to basically break in break even break well honey you said i uh, break even and that's fine because the other folks said that we're running all of them um 